3. Okay, now tapos na tayo sa first chapter ng ating calculus class. Uh, punta na tayo sa second chapter and for the first part of the second chapter, we will be defining what is a derivative. So sa unang section ng chapter na to, we will be computing derivatives using the concept of limits. So what is a derivative? Ano yung definition niya in mathematical terms? So the derivative of a function, so ganito yung notation, no? derivative of a function with respect to to dx or uh, f prime of x, these are notations for the derivative, is defined mathematically as the limit of the function at x plus h minus the function at x all over h as h approaches 0. Another way of writing this definition of a derivative is y prime. So y prime yan yung derivative nung function natin, nung function na y is equal to the limit of the change in y over the change in x as the change in x approaches to zero. So, as you can see from this definition, the derivative is a ratio of changes. Okay? Ratio of change between two variables and uh, in, in this case, the variables would be y and x. And y is a function of x. Okay. Now, let's solve some problems para i-apply natin itong definition of derivative na to. Example 1, we need to find the derivative of the following function. y is equal to 4x squared minus 5x plus 8. Now, before solving this, uh, I will introduce some um, necessary steps kung paano isolve yung mga ganitong uh, mga ganitong derivative. So, ito yung steps on how to solve the derivative using limits. First step is we introduce uh, small changes to our variables. In other words, yung x ko magiging x plus delta x at yung y gagawin kong y plus delta y. Okay. Step 2, we subtract uh, the original function from the modified one, from the y. Kasi yung effect ng step 1, basically, magkakaroon ako ng y plus delta y is equal to some function of x plus delta x. So, isusubtract ko yung original natin na function from, from this one. So, ang makuha ako is delta y is equal to f plus delta x minus yung original function natin na uh, f of x. Basically, original kasi natin is in the form of y is equal to f of x. And then, third step, manipulate natin siya para makuha tayo ng ratio na delta y over delta x. And fourth step, we get we get the limit nung, nung nakuha natin delta y over delta x. At ito na ang kanyang derivative. Okay. So, balik tayo dun sa example. Example 1, find the derivative of y is equal to 4x squared minus 5x plus 8. So, first step is we introduce small changes doon sa variables natin. So, we have y plus delta y is equal to, ito ay magiging 4 times x plus delta x, tapos naka-square. Yung x natin, pinalita natin ng x plus delta x. Minus 5 times x plus delta x plus 8. And now we can simplify this. No, expand natin and simplify. We have 4 uh, x squared plus 2 x delta x. So yung delta x isang term yan. No? Hindi siya delta x squared. Plus delta x tapos naka square tong delta x. Minus, uh, let's see, minus 5 x minus 5 delta x. Plus 8. And expanding further, yung equation natin would be 4x squared plus 8x delta x plus 4 delta x squared minus 5x minus 5 delta x plus Okay. For the second step, okay, ang second step natin is we subtract the original from our new function. So, ito na yung new function natin. This is a function in the form na, so, itong function na to, this is in the form na y plus delta y equals a function of x plus delta x. So, susubtract natin yung original which is yung y is equal to 4x squared minus 5x plus 8. So, subtract natin siya dyan sa function na yan. So, we are left with delta y is equal to, so of course, so subtract mo to, mawawala to. Yung 5x, mawawala at saka yung 8. And we are left with uh, 8x delta x plus 4 delta x 
squared minus 5 delta x. Next step is kailangan nating makagawa ng uh, delta y over delta x. So we just divide both sides by delta x. Okay? So now, uh, pag kinancel mo yung delta x dito, what you'll get is 8x plus 4 delta x minus 5. Okay? And lastly, we get the limit as delta x approaches 0, so of course, by substitution, sa so substitute mo lang yung 0 doon sa delta x, mawawala tong uh, part na to. And therefore, the derivative is 8x minus 5. Okay? So, to review yung ginawa natin sa derivative, we introduce small changes doon sa functions natin para makuha tong form na to. We subtract the original function from, from this new function, from this new form of the function to get this. Tapos, gagawa tayo ng paraan para makuha yung delta y over delta x na ratio, na fraction. And then, we get the limit uh, as delta x approaches 0 and that is our derivative. Okay, so let's do another example. Uh, we need to find the derivative of the fo following rational function. y is equal to 4 minus 5x over 3 plus 2x. So first step, again, we introduce a small change in our variables. I-increase natin yung y ng delta y at yung x, i-increase natin ng delta x. Okay. Ang next step is isusubtract natin yung original function doon sa bago nating form ng function. So, pag sinubtract mo to, ang matitira sa'yo is delta y is equal to uh, 4 minus 5x plus delta x over 3 plus 2 times x plus delta x. Then, isusubtract mo yung original na 4 minus 5x over 3 plus 2x. Okay. And we will manipulate it using some algebra para makakuha tayo ng uh, delta y over delta x later. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko, expand ko yung taas, no? Ito, 4 minus 5x minus 5 delta x. And then we have 3 plus 2x plus 2 delta x. Then we subtract. 4 minus 5x over 3 plus 2x. I would do uh, some kind of cross multiplication para i-subtract tong mga fractions na to. So in other words, ito, i-multiply ko nung denominator nung isa which is 3 plus 2x. And then we subtract 4 minus 5x times yung denominator nung isa, 3 plus 2x plus 2 delta x. And then, all over yung product ng mga denominator nila. Okay. So, dali natin to sa ibang page para mas makita natin. Ayan. And we proceed with simplifying using algebra. So, algebra na lang to. So, let's do that. Okay. So, ang ginawa ko, I just multiplied uh, this trinomial with the binomial minus tong binomial na to with the other trinomial. So, ito yon minus yung result ng isa. Now, if you look at the, the result, no, this is 12 minus yung 12. So, ma-cancel out yung 12. Uh, we have negative 15x minus negative 15x. Ma-cancel sila. And then, we have yung 8x. Again, ma-cancel. Yung 10x squared. At saka yung 10x delta x. Ah, uh, sorry. Yung, this should be 10x delta x. Okay, 10x delta x. So, ma-cancel din yung 10x delta x. And you are left with, or we are left with, delta y is equal to, sa taas, this would be negative 23 delta x divided by, yung sa ilalim naman. Uh, we can look at the bottom part and see, ano, may ma-cancel ba? So, let's write it out na lang, no? This is 4x squared, 4x squared, plus 12x, so yan, plus 12x, plus 9, plus 4x delta x, plus 6 delta x. Ayan. Okay, and again, if we divide both sides by delta x, what you'll get is delta y over delta x equal to negative 23 divided by 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 plus 4x delta x plus 6 delta x. And nakuha na natin yung form ng delta y over delta x. So we just get the limit as delta x approaches 0. Ang mangyayari niyan is magiging 0 tong dalawa sa baba. And we are left with the derivative which is negative 23 over 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. So, ito yung derivative ng original function natin. 
Okay, so let's look at another example. Uh, we have example number three. Find the derivative of y as uh, of y is equal to the square root of five minus three uh, x. Okay, y is equal to five uh, square root of five minus three x. So again, first step is we introduce uh, small increments or small changes sa y, and likewise, magi introduce din tayo ng small change don sa x. Okay, next step we subtract the two para makuha tong function na to and I will simplify this one later uh, we have uh, oh sige ngayon na 3x minus 3 delta x minus yung original which is 5 minus 3x okay next step is we divide both sides by uh, delta x so ito na yung form natin ito na yung kailangan nating kuhaan ng limit Pero as you can see, if, if I get the limit as delta x approaches 0, medyo magkakaproblema ako because yung delta x ko is nasa denominator at kung gagawin kong 0 yan, kakaroon ako ng undefined na value or indeterminate na value. So, magmamanipulate muna ako konti ng algebra, no? Ang technique dito is kapag meron kang numerator na may mga square root or, or ganito, no? May mga square root. Ang technique is you can rationalize the numerator. So, ang gagawin ko, imumultiply ko siya sa 5, 3x minus 3 delta x. Tapos, imbis na minus, plus square root ng 5 minus 3x. So, yan. Mumultiply ko siya dito sa sa parang conjugate nung nung nasa taas no so anyway one lang naman to apply natin siya so we can change the form at mas madali siyang kuhaan ng limits so let me copy this first and lagay natin siya sa bagong page ayan so if we do the algebra we'll get the following no delta y over delta x is equal to since this is uh, the product of the sum and difference, we simply square yung mga values. So we get 5 minus 3x minus 3 delta x okay? minus 5 minus 3x divided by yung delta x times uh, yung square root ng 5 minus 3x minus 3 delta x plus square root ng 5 minus 3x. Yan. And if we simplify yung taas, of course, maka-cancel out lang yung 5 saka yung 3x na yan. And you are left with, uh, and also maka-cancel yung delta x dito sa baba at saka sa taas. You are left with negative 3 over uh, square root of 5 minus 3x minus 3 delta x plus square root of 5 minus 3x. Ayan. Okay? And if now, we can get the limit. As delta x approaches 0, and if, if you get the limit, makakancel lang to, and you are left with the answer, which is negative 3 divided by uh, twice ng square root ng 5 minus 3x. So here is the derivative of our function. Okay. Last example natin for this lesson, example number 4 is to find the derivative of y is equal to 3 over square root of x plus 2. Again, we introduce small changes sa y at saka small changes sa x. Okay? And we subtract uh, the original function from this one to get delta y is equal to 3 over square root of x plus delta x plus 2 minus 3 over square root of x plus 2. Okay, now we will do some algebra to, to combine these two, fra uh, two fractions. So what you'll get is 3 square root of x plus 2 minus 3 square root of x plus delta x plus 2 divided by uh, square root of x plus delta x plus 2 times x plus 2. Okay. Again, uh, we will manipulate it. Ira-rationalize ko yung numerator. So, ang technique sa mga limits, kapag merong uh, square root, no? Ira-rationalize yung numerator. And how do we do that? Siyempre, mumultiply mo siya dun sa conjugate niya. So, if we have here uh, 3 times na to, so siguro ang gawin ko muna, factor out natin yung 3. Yan, yan, yan. And then, I will multiply this by x plus 2 plus square root ng x plus delta x plus 2. Yung numerator at saka yung denominator. Okay? What would happen is, we will get the following, no? I-square mo lang yung mga square root. So, what you'll get is x plus 2 minus 
minus x plus delta x plus 2 divided by okay divided by square root ng x plus delta x plus 2 x plus 2 times square root ng x plus 2 saka square root ng x plus delta x plus 2 sa baba okay and you can simplify this sinimplify mo to yung numerator no yung numerator niyan magiging uh, 3 delta uh, negative 3 delta x and yung simplified form ng numerator and dividing both sides by delta x what you'll get is the following so, okay divide by delta x makukuha natin is negative 3 sa taas over sa so baba we have x plus delta x plus 2 times x plus 2 okay multiplied by square root of x plus 2 plus square root of x plus delta x plus 2 okay now if you get the limit as x approach delta x no approaches 0 syempre mawawala yung mga delta x magiging 0 and this can now be simplified as negative 3 divided by x plus 2 okay times eka tignan natin no times twice ng square root ng x plus 2 or this is further simplified to negative 3 over 2 times x plus 2 raised to 3 over 2 yan okay so ito yung derivative ng function natin kanina okay so let's review what is a derivative derivative is defined as the as a ratio of changes okay between two variables as the variable below this is our independent variable approaches zero as the change in the independent variable approaches zero and some of the steps or pwede nating sundan is first we introduce a small change doon sa variable we subtract yung original function from the modified one para makuha tong form na to and when then we do some algebraic manipulation or we can simply divide by delta x and finally, we get the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches 0. And the answer will be our derivative. So, this is the first section. Like my video, kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe.